So in this video, we're going to prove by induction that the sum from r is 1 up to n of 1 over r times r plus 1 is n over n plus 1. Okay, so step number one. Prove true for n equals 1. So let's look at the left-hand side. We've got the summation of 1 over r r plus 1 from r is 1 up to 1 will just be 1 over 1 times 1 plus 1 which is 1 over 2. Now if we look at the right hand side well that's just going to be 1 over 1 plus 1 which is 1 over 2. So the left hand side is equal to the right hand side and so we've checked that. Okay, so it is true for n equals 1. Right, so let's assume true for n equals k. So, the summation of 1 over r times r plus 1 from r equals 1 up to k is going to be equal to k over k plus 1. So we're going to assume that it's true for n equals k. And the final stage is to prove that it's true for n equals k plus 1. So replacing the n with k plus 1, uh, 1 over r, lots of r plus 1. Well, that's the same as the summation from 1 to k. one over r times r plus one plus that final term substituting in the k plus one and we get one over k plus one times k plus one plus one so k plus two so we assume true for n equals k and so we can replace this sigma with the k over k plus one oh sorry not unequals plus 1 over k plus 1, k plus 2. Okay, so what do we want to arrive at? We would like to arrive at uh, substituting the n in here with k plus 1. So we want to arrive at k plus 1 over k plus 1 plus 1, so k plus 2. k plus 1 over k plus 2, that's what we want to arrive at. So we want to show that this is equivalent. Okay? So in order to do that, we're going to have to add the two fractions together. They don't currently have a common denominator, so we're going to have to deal with that. So it makes sense to multiply this fraction top and bottom by k plus 2, and then I've got a common denominator. So k lots of k plus 2, so I'm multiplying the top and bottom of this by k plus 2, over k plus 1, k plus 2. And I've still got that plus 1 over k plus 1 k plus 2. Okay. Right, so now I can combine them. I've got this, uh, so I'm going to multiply out this bracket and add on the 1. I'm going to combine it all, that numerator. The denominator is just going to be k plus 1, k plus 2. Okay. So I'm going to have k squared plus 2k plus the 1. Don't expand the denominator. Don't get trigger happy on this, okay? We don't want us just expand everything that we see. Useful to keep that denominator factorised. So the numerator, k squared plus 2k plus 1, that factorises. That factorises to k plus 1 times k plus 1. So we've got k plus 1, k plus 2 on the denominator. So you can see why I didn't expand the brackets because now I can see I've got a common factor in the numerator and denominator and so that simplifies to k plus 1 over k plus 2 cancelling a k plus 1 from the numerator and denominator there. Assuming of course k isn't 0 which in our case it wouldn't be. Okay. So what have we arrived at? We've arrived at precisely what we wanted to. We wanted to arrive at k plus 1 over k plus 2. So that has proved that it's true for n equals k plus 1. 
And if it's true for n equals 1, and we assumed it was true for n equals k, and we proved it was true for n equals k plus 1, that means it's true for all n greater than or equal to 1 by induction. So we want to write down those two, that two uh, mark concluding statement again, don't we? OK, so hopefully we've got it memorized now. OK, so, so true for n equals 1. And if true for n equals k, then true for n equals k plus 1. So true for n, e well, for n greater than or equal to 1. So I should really put for all n greater than or equal to 1 there. See, I said, have we remembered it yet? And there I am forgetting a step. <laughs> right? So it's bound to happen. So for all n greater than or equal to 1. OK? So we proved it was true for n equals 1. Uh, assumed it was true for n equals k and showed that it, if it was true for that, then it's true for n equals k plus 1. Uh, and so it must be true for all n greater than or equal to 1.